Government of the Republic of Honduras Education Secretary We want you studying at home. Hello! Welcome boys and girls to a new learning session. I hope you are doing very well by taking into consideration the cleaning and hygiene measures to take care of your health and of course staying at home. This was presented by Andres Mejia Rivas, a pedagogical technician from the Central Southeast Regional Center for Permanent Training in Tegucigalpa, and it is being translated by Deborah Teresa Stanley Thompson, a Black English speaker educator at the Grover Wendell Webster Proeco IBE Educational Center in the community of Wild Key, Roatan Bay Island. And on this occasion, we will take the opportunity to share an artistic activity linked to the mathematic area. The content to be linked, number 10, the artistic content, basic plastic instruments and techniques, two dimensional techniques for grade one. And the activity is called tapping with balloons, representing the numeral notion of the number 10 in a creative activity. The content to be developed is a resource to support the implementation of the CARE strategy for basic education students in their homes within the framework of the project we want you studying at home, specifically reaching our Black English speaking students here on the Bay Island of Roatan. All right, boys and girls, let's start by answering the following question. What numbers do you know? Very well. Number one, two, three, four, among others. What do we use numbers for? Perfect! To count things. For example, five apples, seven oranges, or three cars. Do you like to paint boys and girls? Yes, you like to paint, huh? Like a chick, a puppy, the moon or the sun in the blue sky. Very well, boys and girls. Now, boys and girls, do you remember that you studied numbers in mathematics? Yes. Today, we will remember numbers again. Listen carefully. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now, we will do addition, where the result is the number 10. In our house, for example, we have 9 apples, 10 bananas, and 0 pears on a dining room table. But we're going to do a few addition, where the result is the number 10. For example, we have 8 plus 2 equal 10 for our first addition. You see, we have 8 red dot plus 2 yellow dot. We count them all together and we have number 10. Next, we have 7 plus, there is a blank space. I wonder what number we can write there to complete number 10. So, 
we can reference by our seven red dots and how many yellow dots do we have? Three. That is correct. So seven plus three equals ten. Next, we have six plus four. Six plus four. We have six red dots and four yellow dots, which will equal the number ten. Very good, boys and girls. And for our last one, we have five plus, and we have two bits of number. So we have five red dots, and how many yellow dots do we have? Five as well. Very good. So five plus five equals ten. So the number ten will go in the following missing number in the box. Now, boys and girls, I invite you to participate in this beautiful activity. With the help of your father or mother, tapping balloons representing the number 10 through a creative activity. It is a very fun activity for children. The materials we're going to use are the following. Paint a balloon, disposable plate, and poster boards. How is this activity done? Number one, place the paint on a disposable plate. Number two, inflate the balloon and wet it with paint on the bottom. Number three, tap the balloon painting on a poster board. See, boys and girls, how easy! <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed this artistic activity and I hope that you are motivated to do it with the help of your parents. This activity encourages addition, a creative imagination, fine motor skills development, working hands and fingers. Well, I want you guys to be aware of the following videos and it was of a great pleasure to have shared with you. And remember, we want you to continue to study at home. Bye boys and girls. Until next time. This video was produced within the framework of the strategy for linking artistic education with the contents of the curricular areas and fields of knowledge that compromise the basic curricular design. Secretary of Education of Honduras, Under Secretary of Technical Pedagogical Affairs in coordination with the General Subdirectorate of Education and Artistic Culture and the General Directorate of Professional Development through the Permanent Training Subdirectorate at its Regional Center, Honduras, 2021.